Howdy mates, good afternoon, how are we all doing? Here's a part two video, I think this is my second video I've made today, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, I'm over visiting a spot where I've passed by several times, but I've never actually had the chance to go and visit, so it's, today's been a good one so far. So today we're over at the Bay Preserve, which is situated just along the Sarasota Bay that you can see towards the end of the boardwalk, or towards the end of the sidewalk here. A very important estuary in this part of the state, because as you can see, you can see the estuary there, you can see that little bit of barrier island, and then literally just past that, is the Gulf. But that's not the premise of the film, though. As part of this video, I wanted to take the opportunity to share about a nonprofit that exists in the Southwest Florida community. I may have mentioned about them a number of different times, but this video can perhaps go a bit more in depth with it. So, here I am presenting what is known as the Conservation Foundation of the Gulf Coast, a nonprofit that specializes in outreach, so environmental educational outreach, conservation, as in the name, land conservation to be specific. And then they also provide the opportunity for environmental restoration as well. You see, when I did a video a couple of months ago, just before it was Earth Day, I visited one of their protected uh, conservation easements that they have, which is actually at the Mayaka Headwaters up by Mayaka City. That is one of the many lands that they or I should say, that is one of the many properties that they own in the community. What we were doing there, we were incorporating some plantings of pop ash, as well as maiden cane grass. So we were basically reintroducing native plants to the headwaters. And as a result of us doing that, as it gets into the next decade or two, we're essentially restoring a habitat that lies along the Mayaka headwaters. We're preventing more erosion from happening. We're creating more shade as a result. Those are just a couple of different ways in which we were benefiting that given area. But you figure the foundation itself heavily relies on donors. So what I mean by that is much of their funding comes from a result of taxpayer money as well as donors who are willing to donate some of their funds to the conservation's cause. Because Here's the thing, much of the land, prop, or I should say one of the, several of the properties that the foundation owns came from donors, most of them. I mean, even the facility, this is their main facility, These all, this also came from a donor. This was uh, originally the home of Mr. and Mrs. Burroughs back in the 1930s. And the wife, Mrs. Burroughs, I believe her maiden name was uh, Scherer. And funny thing, not too far from here is the Oscar Scherer State Park. And Oscar was the father. So, that being said, that particular family, if there are any descendants still have a rich history in this area. 
and it was around 2003 as to when the foundation was found. So you figure it's existed for about uh, 20 years. But yeah, it's a gorgeous, it's a gorgeous facility. And it's been restored, of course, to uh, modern standard. But they are an excellent organization worth following <clears throat> if you haven't already. A lot of good people. I mean, granted, I've only had the opportunity to work with them a couple of times. But they're still... They still have a very big influence. And when I say influence... The properties that they own, which is at least above 50, if I'm not mistaken. They pretty much have protected areas throughout... Uh, Collier County, so as far south as Collier County, and then as far north as Manatee County. So they have a lot of protected areas. And, you know, the reason that they do that, one of the main reasons, is to actually help promote the health, or to promote better health of our watersheds. The more natural areas that we have for our watershed, the better opportunity there is for that water to get filtered before it enters or before you know rainwater for example infiltrates into the watershed as a result that also creates better a better standing for the estuary Sarasota Bay but yeah they sure do have a gorgeous property here. So this is like their main headquarters, basically. So of course I'm going to provide a page link for you guys if you haven't already started following them. As I said before, they are really good people and they're definitely a cause worth following. So, all right. Take care, you guys. Have a good one.